I was a passenger. So we're on our way back to uh, Valentine. And then All right, well, please pull out the Dale rail. How you doing, Avion? Doing quite fine. I heard that you changed your mind on being a conductor. Well, is it not good enough for you, Kahana? No, I I just went and became a shaman. Do you think you're better than me? No. No, I was I was debating it. Either way, I don't think I'd be able to get the job. You'd be surprised. No, After I, a long day of hard work on the railroads. We made a stop at Rig Station, meeting Senior Bob, owner and face of Valentine Train Company. The CEO, in other words, the boss. We also met with Kohana Bravebird, a member of the Wayani tribe, a man struggling to become one with Mother Nature, as he can no longer rage against the machine. As his lust to gain access to modern day technology and wealth seduces him, Senior Bob presents him with an offer he arguably can never refuse. I had quite a what? It had quite an in. Probably wouldn't have even had to do an interview. Damn. Now I, yeah. now I kind of feel like I'm missing out. Yeah, come on. I'm going to be I'm gonna real with you. Uh, Bob, Bob is kind of correct. We were talking about. Really? Um, uh, dot, dot, dot. Damn. All right. <sighs> Valentine. But like shamanism. You could either choose the way of the past. I would rather be a fucking train conductor than a shaman, Kona. Live in the past with the trees and the nature, live with the people demolishing the trees and the nature for industry. But I like being able to make peyote and I like being able to make poison bottles, flaming arrows. Funny shit like that. And I like the spiritual journeys. Spiritual journeys. What Brave Bird speaks of is the forbidden experiences of the spiritual journeys, rituals, and practices him and his tribe partakes in. Some say that the tribes have the ability to become one with nature by either communicating or transforming into an animal once they've eaten a sacred fruit or flower from forbidden grounds. Brave Bird speaking out on this is a form of redundancy of his values and life as a shaman, but also him coming into terms with the temptation of leaving this life consumes him. I'll take the opportunity while it's here, my friend. Don't worry, they all sell their souls eventually. Look at McDoon. Get the money while you can. I am unable to He's been the working train. up in Washington. So again? You have I your own train, train. I am not sure. and you'll make money a lot more faster, my friend. Perhaps if I, uh... Would you allow me to think about it? Listen, I've never seen Senior Bob give an opportunity to someone like this. But the offer only stands for, what, a day, a day and a half? I put it somewhere in the board of directors. Your tribe and nature will always be with you. Take this while it's now. Though I would expect great things from you, Kohana. You are a hard worker. Just think about it, man. Uh, think fast. They may resent you for now. Boss, work on your own hours. You can work for me and be a part of the Titan of Industry. I'm not my own boss, actually. I'm... It's. You even give him a job of security. Not... Stay ahead of the curve. What? Stay ahead of the curve. The shame of not being your own boss. When I walked over to Brave Bird, I decided to give him that advice on this once in a lifetime offer that he was granted to advance him and his people into technology. They would resent him for it at first, but 
The idea was for him to understand that he was only staying ahead of the curve to feed his loved ones. He just needed the right vision to bond with his integrity. So that way, he wouldn't feel as though he was a traitor or betraying himself, becoming a train conductor and evolving with society. I think you're getting some more season quite helpful. Do you have a freight train yet? No, sir, I don't. You'll get one soon. Thank you. What are you doing in here? I'm just riding in the train. Sir, please do not interrupt Senior Bob in his quarters. Oh. Uh oh. We'll have to talk to him. What do you want to talk to me about? Just seeing how your day is going, Mr. Bob. The last time I saw you, you got struck by lightning. No, I just wish to have the privacy. I'm writing up some notes at the moment. Oh, of course, of course. Please come this way, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Morris, and have a good day, Mr. Bright. No problem, Senior Bob. Please enjoy your stay. Of course. Senior Bob was a man of business. As charismatic as he was, and well spoken in business and negotiations, he valued his privacy and peace of mind. And indefinitely indeed was a very private man. I say this in regards to why I inputted my opinion to Koana, Brave Bird, and becoming a conductor. Not every opportunity is as easy as this one. And certainly, by our opportunity to be a train conductor, it wasn't as easy as this. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll be taking my leave. All right, sir. Have a good one. You too. Where did he go? He popped. Yeah, he stepped away a few moments ago. You just missed him. The very next day, Juana came into the Valentine Train Company headquarters to finalize his paperwork to become a train conductor. It had only taken him one night to consider Bob's offer. Juana may have some difficulties convincing the value of this opportunity to his tribe, but as technology continues to grow in the Wild West, his investments will gradually increase, protecting his family's forbidden lands as he receives a return on investment with the train company. As for me, the name is Boris, Boris Riverwood. I've been a train conductor for quite some time, originally a working man and farmer for the Rhodes General Store. But that lifestyle of mine changed the day I met Remington Stallone, out front of the Rhodes General Store, inquiring about some business around town. This is my story with the Valentine Train Company. And it begins.